www.nicolestewart.tv.tv. Hi, I'm Nicole Stewart, and welcome to my 20-minute total body Pilates workout. What is Pilates anyway? Pilates is a system of body conditioning designed to stretch, strengthen, and lengthen the muscles of the body with a special emphasis on the core, the abdominals, the lower back, the hips, and the butt. Anybody can do Pilates, so what are you waiting for? Let's get started by lying flat on the back. Lie down on the back with your arms next to your body and your shoulders roll down into the floor. The chest open and the knees about hip distance. Take your second here and just close your eyes, letting the body melt down into the floor. We're gonna begin our Pilates breathing here. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Breathe it in, blow it out. Let's imagine that there's a large bandage being wrapped around the waist from the base of the rib cage all the way down to the pubic bone. Every time you exhale, guys, I want you to feel that bandage getting pulled tighter around your waist. Let's try it. Breathing in, exhale. So the circumference around the core literally gets smaller every time you exhale. A couple more breaths here. Breathing in, exhale, blow out all the way to the ceiling. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, let's float the knees right up and over the hips. Here we go. Inhale, right toes tapping down to the floor. Exhale, pulling them up. That's it. Inhale, left toes tap down. Exhale, up. Inhale, float the toes away. Exhale, blow the air to the ceiling as you draw that leg up. That's it, guys. Good. Exhale, one more time each side. Inhale, tap, warming up that lower belly area, that area between the belly button and the pubic bone. Pull the leg up. Hug your knees in. Rock from side to side. Breathing in this rest position in between exercises. You're always welcome to come back here. Let's take the knees and feet right back up. Same idea, guys, right toes tapping down. This time, we're gonna scissor switch. Exhale, change. And rather than bringing your knees over the tummy, make sure they land right over the hips. Otherwise, it's cheating a little bit. There you go. Exhale, here we go. Exhale, exhale for four. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees. Rock from side to side. Breathing. Good. Can you feel your abs warming up? Let's try one more variation. Bring the knees and feet back up. This time we're going to double the load on the abdominals by taking two legs down to the floor. Exhale, pull them up. Now the farther your toes reach away from the body, guys, the harder it is to, be the, to lift those legs. So if you feel your belly pooching out at all, just bend your knees a little bit more. Exhale, good. For more of a challenge, go up a little slower. Yeah, can you feel that going deeper? Exhale, last time, inhale, tap. Exhale, pull the knees up, place the hands on the outsides of the knees and just circle the knees here, opening up the hips. Stretching and opening up the hips. Let's reverse. Sometimes we hold tension in our hips if we're driving a lot or sitting at a desk. So we just stretch the hips here. Let's pull the right leg back, stretch the left leg out, opening up that left hip, and switch an oppositional stretch here. So we're pulling on the left, reaching through the right. And again, pull the right leg, stretch through the left. That's it. Last time, pull on the left, stretch through the right. Excellent. Now we're gonna move into the 100. Have you heard of it? It's one of the most popular Pilates exercises. It's designed to strengthen the abdominals and get your circulation pumping. We're gonna bring the knees into what we call our tabletop position. Knees squeeze tight together. Let's take the arms to the ceiling, shoulders down into the back. We're gonna breathe in through the nose. On the exhale, peel your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Your mid-back is pressed against the floor and the hands are about hip level, shoulders down into the back. We're gonna begin breathing in for five counts and exhaling for five counts. Inhale, three, two, three, four, five, and exhale, three, four, five, and sip the air through the nose and blow the air out the mouth. That's it, guys, pumping your arms like you're hammering a nail with the hands, yes. And inhale, three, four, five, and exhale. Very nice, and five, two, three, four, five, and exhale, good. If you're intermediate, take your legs up to the ceiling. And exhale, good. Advance, take your legs at a 45 degree angle above the floor. Not there yet, that's fine, keep your knees bent. And exhale, two more sets guys, almost there. Keep breathing. And exhale, pump those arms last time. 
and exhale, three, four, five, woo. Relax your head, rock from side to side. Could you feel that right there in the top of your abdominals? Good, breathing. Let's walk the feet out from the booty just a little ways here for our roll up. The arms are gonna come up to the ceiling. Now the farther the feet are away from the booty, guys, the easier this exercise is gonna be. So if you're not sure, start with your legs farther out. Shoulders down into the back, belly's tight. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, peel the chin over the chest, the chest over the ribs, belly pulling in, 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 and then lift to the top of your head. Lengthen your spine, inhale here, and then exhale, tuck your tailbone under, round your lower back, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears, and relaxing the head down, good. If you had a little bit of a hard time getting up, let's use the arms this time. Breathing in, exhale, peel the chin over the chest. You can use the arms to kind of pull yourself up and then lift the chest, open the heart. Inhale, exhale, round your lower back. Again, using the hands just if you need to, relaxing your head down. Let's do three more like this, guys. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Try to avoid jerking. I know it's hard, but that's what's gonna strengthen your back and your abdominals here. Lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, round it, as if someone punched you in your lower belly. Pull that in, shoulders keep coming down, away from the ears, and inhale. Exhale, chin over the chest, chest over the ribs. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Lift the top of the head, inhale, and exhale, rounding it down, one vertebra at a time, one vertebra after the other. Good, this last time, let's just try scooching the heels in just a little bit for more of a challenge. Take your time, inhale, and exhale, chin over the chest, chest over the ribs, ooh, a little bit harder. Lift the chest, inhale here, and exhale, rounding it down, one vertebra after the other. That was great, you guys. Place your arms next to your body, shoulders roll down into the floor. Let's stretch the left leg down and take the right leg up to the ceiling for single leg circles. We're gonna press the two hip bones down into the floor as if they were bolted down into the floor. Take the right toes over the left knee, down to the floor, and exhale, draw a straight line up. So it's as if you're drawing a semicircle in the air here with your toes, that's right. Inhale as you cross, exhale, use your lower belly to lift that leg. One more time this direction, and exhale, up. Let's reverse it just to the outside of your mat now, guys, and exhale, up. This exercise is amazing for lengthening the legs, toning the legs, and working the core. Oh yeah. Exhale, take your time on the way up for a deeper workout, one more. And exhale, draw that leg all the way up. Now we're gonna take this leg down to the floor for a long count of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, we're breathing for five, four, three, two, and we're down. Doesn't that leg feel longer? Cool, let's take the left leg up to the ceiling, hips pressing down and crossing over the right knee down to the floor. Exhale, draw that line up. Good, if you're having a hard time keeping your hips still, try making your circle a little bit smaller and more controlled, yeah? So I really want you to keep those hips still to work the core even as we work the leg. Good, let's reverse it to the outside, down. Exhale, draw that line up. Good, breathing in, exhale. Blow out all the way to the ceiling. Two more, you guys, almost there. You're doing great. Exhale up. And last time, just for kicks, a little bit slower here. Pull it up, oh yeah. And we're gonna reach this leg down to the floor for a long count of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, we're breathing for five, four, three, two, and all the way down. Excellent, you guys, nice long legs. Let's pull the knees back into our tabletop position and do a little lower back stretch. Arms out to a T, palms down. Let's just take the legs to the left, both legs, and let's gently turn your head to the right. If you like, you can place your hand on that top knee, opening up the lower back and breathing here. Taking a moment to breathe into the lower back. Good. And let's pull the right leg up, then the left, and take the legs over to the other side, looking back to the left. If you like, putting that hand on the top leg. Again, opening up that lower back area, breathing here. Mm. And pull the left leg up, then the right, and hug the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. 
Let's roll over onto the side for the side kick series. Align your upper body with the back edge of your mat and your feet with the front corner of your mat so your legs are on a diagonal. This series is great for toning the legs and strengthening the booty. Let's start with big circles. We're gonna take the top leg forward and up and then reach it back and down. Let's inhale as we come forward and up and exhale, reach back and down. In this exercise, I want you to try and keep your center really still. We're basically controlling the motion of the leg with your core. If you need to make the circles a little bit smaller if your hips are tight, that's totally fine. One more time this direction. Inhale and up, and exhale and down. Excellent. Let's rotate the knee toward the ceiling, and we're gonna point the toes up, and then exhale, flex to come down. Inhale, pushing up, exhale, squeezing down. Can you feel that in your inner thighs? Pushing through the outer thigh and flexing, squeezing through the inner thigh. Breathing in and exhale down. Let's go one more time up. Here we go. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's just make some little circles here with the toes pointed. And one, two, exhale. Every time you circle the leg. Good, seven and eight. Reverse, can you feel that in your outer thigh? Oh, good. And five, six, seven, and relax your leg down. Excellent. Let's pull the knees in into a 90 degree angle here on the floor. And we're gonna work the outer and inner thighs by pushing the top leg up and then squeezing it down. Again, belly stays tight, guys, so we are working the core. Just more emphasis here on the outer leg as we come up, the inner thigh as you come down. If you want a little more of a challenge, imagine that you're moving your leg through wet cement. Yeah, a little bit harder now, huh? For three, and squeeze it down, and two, almost there. Last one, and relax your leg. Good, you can make a fist here and just rub that out a little bit. And let's come down onto the back to stretch that leg. Rolling over, crossing the leg, the working leg over the opposite knee. Reaching around the back of the leg to stretch here. Breathing. If your chin's sticking up toward the ceiling, just go ahead and bring it down so you have a nice long neck. Take a moment here to close your eyes and breathe into the body. And to stretch the neck, let's just turn the head from side to side. Excellent. When you're ready, take the legs to the ceiling, just shake them out. All right, let's swivel around and we'll take the second side. Again, aligning the upper body with the back edge of the mat, rest your head on your hands, your ankles come onto the forward diagonal. Starting again with big circles. Taking the top leg forward and up, and then exhale back and down. If you'd like to try holding your hip to keep it in place, the hat's great, good. Inhale it up, see how big your circles can be while keeping your center still. That's the challenge, guys. Yeah, lots of breath. Inhale and up, and exhale, and down. Let's reverse direction. So now we're gonna go to the back, and up, and then see how far forward you can come. So these circles here are fluid. We're moving at the same speed throughout the circle. That's it, two more. Inhale and up. Exhale, the belly's working on the way down. Last time, breathing in and exhale down. Very nice, you guys. Rotate the top leg again to the ceiling and we're gonna point the toes up and exhale, flex. Squeezing the booty, pushing through the outer thigh and squeezing the booty and the inner thigh on the way down. Good, you guys, three more. And exhale, squeeze. If you can't get your leg that high, it's totally okay. Just keep your center really still. Last one and exhale, squeeze it down. Good, knees come into a 90 degree angle, pushing the top leg up, squeezing it down, pressing it up, and squeeze. Good, a few more here, guys, keep breathing. That's it, belly's tight, working that outer thigh, squeezing, using that image of wet cement if you like, and squeeze, last time, oh yeah. Okay, good, relax your leg, rub it out, and let's roll over onto the back. Again, crossing that working leg over the opposite knee, stretching here and breathing into the body. That's it, deep breaths. Shake out your legs, shake. Good, take your legs long on the floor and imagine someone's pulling you in both directions and reaching out, 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 out. And relax the body down, good. 
Let's roll over onto the stomach so we can focus more on the back. Lying flat on your mat with your arms extended, your legs long and your forehead down toward the floor. We're gonna inhale and lift the right arm and left leg up and exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm, right leg, exhale, lower. That's it guys. Lift, strengthening the back, using the booty. Inhale up, exhale down, right arm, left leg and exhale one more time guys left arm right leg and relax it down let's take the legs only legs only lifting up and lower good inhale to lift exhale to lower pull your belly in as you squeeze the booty and relax it down let's try the upper body only now inhale arms chest and head lifting and lower good inhale extend the spine open the heart forward exhale lower one more time lift and open and exhale lower good take a second so we're going to put those pieces together into an exercise called swimming when we're in the swimming go ahead and just breathe naturally so we're going to lift the arms and the legs off the mat and paddle and paddle and paddle that's it swim and paddle and swim and swim let's go 10 more 10 9 breathing seven almost there six five breathing three two and relax nice work press yourself back booty onto heels for rest position that's it stretching out the lower back you can creep the fingers forward opening up the underside of the arms here and just breathe into the belly breathe into the lower back very good let's come up onto hands and knees hands directly underneath the shoulders knees right underneath the hips and we're going to inhale tip the booty up and lift the chest looking high exhale curl the tailbone under round and stretch inhale tip arch and lift doesn't that feel good on your spine stretch it out shoulders all the way up inhale tip arch and lift exhale curl round and stretch last time guys breathe in and exhale pull the tummy in and stretch all the way out so nice good let's take the legs long in front of us as we rotate the spine point your toes and bring your legs all the way together and take yourself on that place it's kind of easy to sit in and really stretch yourself see how tall you can get lifting through your heart let's take the arms out to the sides and we're going to twist exhale exhale and other side exhale exhale twist 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 wringing out the waist exhale 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 keep growing up through the top of your head like a tree growing up to the sky keep reaching lengthening your spine whittling away the waist here guys that's it exhale exhale let's do four more four four blow blow two two one one very nice good let's place the soles of the feet together here for a final stretch this is called the butterfly and it's designed to open up the hips from here I just want you to take your upper body and just melt down over your legs see if you can relax your head a lot of us hold tension in our neck so I really want you to see if you can drop your head if you need to give yourself a little neck massage go ahead and do it and I want you to imagine as you're resting here in this pose that your knees are floating down toward the floor and let your breath get slower and deeper Perhaps your fingers are stretching a little bit further forward. Imagine someone has their hands on your back, pushing you down into the floor, breathing and stretching. In a stretch like this, you wanna stay in it at least 60 seconds, nice and still, deep breathing. You've earned it. <laughs> Very nice, you guys. Good, we're gonna roll up the spine now to sitting. So I just want you to take your hands and walk them back towards you. And then from the base of your spine, pull your belly in and you're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. The shoulders are gonna come down into the back. We're gonna lift the chest. And then again, think about growing through the top of the head. Breathing here. You guys did so great. I hope you enjoyed your 20 minute total body Pilates workout. Look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Nicole Stewart for Exercise TV.
Get the body you want with Exercise TV. Unlimited access to customized workout plans, hundreds of free videos, trends, tips, and advice. Go to exercisetv.tv. To order DVDs and accessories, visit exercisetv.tv slash store.